What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a review of the 16 ounce Kleto Reyes Pro Training Gloves. So stay tuned. Hey what's up guys? Carlo here and today I'll be doing a review of the 16 ounce Kleto Reyes Hook and Loop Velcro Training Gloves. You can see here I got these in the blue uh, classic color scheme. And uh, this glove has made a lot of improvements over the years. If you followed my channel you would see that my very first video I did on YouTube was actually a pair of the 14 ounce lace-up uh, Reyes training gloves and from that time until now you know many years have passed and I feel that Reyes has actually made quite a few improvements to the glove um, in both terms of the the padding and the comfort of the glove that's quite noticeable when I first put these on and I started using them um, so big kudos to Reyes to actually uh, listening to the customers and kind of evolving uh, with the glove game and making these gloves uh, much more comfortable. So let's go over the five things. First is going to be the glove design. These are the, uh, the quintessential Mexican style puncher's glove. Um, you can see that it has a medium to, to short and compact profile that you would expect from a Mexican style glove. Um, you can see here that it has the Clatorius logo, classic logo that's screen printed on the back of the glove as well as these nice slick embroidered Cleto Reyes tabs on the back here. Um, it is a Velcro strap glove with a leather back strap. Um, one noticeable change they did um, with the strap is they use almost like a kind of like a ballistic high quality, it's a very durable ballistic nylon material they have here um, that has a really rugged feel to it. I, I can't really describe it as more of like a mesh material definitely not cheap but I, I believe they use that backing on here just for the durability of it to make sure that the strap stays nice and durable um, all the way to the velcro strap you can see that they use this leather piping all the way throughout um, on the palm side of the glove you can see that they use all leather construction everything is genuine you know top quality cowhide leather um, you can see that it has an attached thumb right there. Instead of using the same blue color, they actually use a, a black attached thumb just maybe to offset the color or just for whatever batch they went with on this. You can see that it has ventilated holes on the thumb as well as on the palm with a nice grip bar there as well. And the actual leather shine is very nice and slick. I, I believe Reyes um, uses a, a waterproofing spray that they put over the leather to give it that sheen and also it has that really strong leather smell that you would expect from a Reyes glove exactly like how I got mine back several years ago with my 14 ounce lace ups um, the actual elastic strap on here is actually really nice and robust it's almost double the size of some other gloves like Sabas has an elastic strap on their velcro gloves but it's definitely not as big as this you can see that this is almost what two inches so they use a really nice robust elastic strap and then a uh, polyester nylon liner on the inside you can see that it has the made in mexico tag right here everything's authentic um, you can see that it has the clitoris tag on the inside as well so you can see the actual size of the glove itself when i put them on just to kind of give you guys an idea of the profile of the glove so you know sits about three quarters or maybe halfway up my forearm i'm going to give you guys the idea of how big these gloves are and they're again very compact so the next thing would be the quality um the quality on these it goes without saying these are top notch um i wasn't expecting anything less from a clitoris glove the leather is premium probably some of the best leather you'll ever find uh, for a boxing glove um, definitely nice and thick you can see that the quality is very nice. You can see all throughout, even the knuckle area right here, the quality is really nice. The screen printing is all done evenly. It's not crooked or slanted where the logo is at. The palm side, all the leather looks really nice. Everything on the fingertips is done with great attention to detail. And again, these are all handmade. And I'm sure if you guys have seen the videos on YouTube of the Cleto Reyes factory where they're hand producing these gloves, you know, they put a lot of time, uh, effort, and, and love into these gloves. And you can definitely tell 
when you take these out of the box that, you know, when they were being made that the person that was making them took a lot of pride in them. Um, double stitching throughout, the piping is done very nicely. One thing I also noticed too about the padding is that I feel that in the knuckle area, um, they kind of, they didn't make it as round, they almost came, kind of flattened it out just a little bit on the punching surface right here. That way when you turn your knuckles over, I feel like you land a lot more flush when I use these on the heavy bag compared to previous models. So, But overall, the quality is just superb. Again, the strap looks very nice. There's nothing frayed. The attention to detail is all there. You can see that the there's about a one inch layer of padding on the back of your wrist right there. So once you lock everything in with the Velcro strap, it, it ties it in nicely. I'd say about a half inch layer of pretty soft touch foam right there on the wrist for the wrist support as well as on this other side. Um, and like all you know, authentic Clitoreus gloves, they kind of have their own little seal of authenticity. You can see that it's printed on there with the um, Clitoreus logo and um, the actual like serial number IS6660. So just kind of personalize each glove to, to ensure authenticity. So quality is definitely top notch, even around the thumb area here. Um, the actual piping they use is really nice and then this white leather on the inside of the thumb is is high quality as well everything is just a great fit and finish and, and just feels robust like this glove is going to last a super long time like it should so comfort so comfort of this glove man that is the area that most people have always had a hard time with especially with mexican style gloves just because of the way that they're cut but one thing I noticed right off the bat when I put my hand in these, even before I use them, is that I feel that Reyes changed the ergonomics of these gloves. And by that I mean, um, the thumb placement is definitely better than before, much better in my opinion. Um, I feel that it's more like Sabas and even Grant, to where your, your thumb didn't sit so far out, inside, you know, out, outside of the, the compartment, where you you're, you're feel like you're almost like that when you're making a fist with these even though it might appear to be a little further out they definitely I feel like they push the thumb in a little bit more that way you don't feel as awkward and the same thing goes with the finger compartment I don't feel that the finger compartment is as deep it's a little more shallow and that allows for me to get a better grip I have medium-sized hands and they have a, a nice grip bar and everything is nicely lined on the inside the inner liner that polyester liner that they use inside here doesn't bunch up. Um, I've had some problems in the past with some of the Sabas gloves and some of the other title gloves where, and even my ringside, those Invictos I did a, a, a review on a couple years ago that I felt that the material around the knuckle area and in the finger compartment, there's an excess of that. So it would bunch up and these, everything is nice and flat and smooth on the inside so you don't feel any bunching. And the grip bar is in perfect placement. The grip bar lands right about on my second knuckle right there so the grip bar lands right on this part of the hand so when you roll your your fingers over you get a nice grip and even the seam here I feel like this seam isn't as tight it doesn't pull down on my thumb um, now it does require some breaking in just because of the, the high quality leather you know you're definitely gonna have to hit the bag and get a lot of rounds in at the gym to really get these in broken in and feeling nice and soft so there is some initial stiffness to these gloves um, but overall the comfort is definitely much better than those 14 ounce Reyes gloves those lace-ups I did in the past um, the width of the glove is very nice as well you know I don't feel like my hand shifts sideways or up and down everything feels like it's it's nice and tucked in there and again I can make a really good fist with these I don't feel like I have to put a lot of force into closing my hands um, like I did with like the Casanovas if you guys seen that review of the Casanovas Comfort wise, these are far, far and away much more comfortable than those gloves. So overall, really nice. Even the wrist support feels really good as well and, and locks my wrist in so I don't feel like I have a lot of flex in that. Um, now performance, uh, this glove does great on the heavy bag. Um, one thing that Reyes has always been known for is for being a puncher style glove. Um, I feel that they use a better and a thicker I want you to say thicker but a denser grade of latex foam than they use in the past um, and again to compare to my 14 ounce uh, lace-up gloves you can check that video out compared to this one but you can see that the padding on this is a lot denser obviously it's still soft it's not as stiff as some of the other protective bag gloves 
but the Reyes definitely stiffened up this latex foam and uses multi layers to absorb the shock. So now when I use these on the heavy bag, I don't feel that my knuckles sink in as much as they did before. And I can get a good, really good pop out of these gloves and feel like that I don't have to worry, really worry about my knuckles incurring a lot of damage. So you can you know, really push against this and it performs nicely. It gives you the pop that you need. And again, it's gonna take a little while for the thumb to break in around the seam here. It's not super tight, but again, once that leather starts to break in with you using your hand wraps, it'll stretch this hand compartment out just a little bit to give you that more custom feel. So these perform great. Um, I would even say that you can use these for sparring now just because the padding, again, is a little bit more forgiving um, the, than the previous model. So um, cost-wise, these you know, gloves obviously are in a higher range, you know, depending on where you get them from. Um, I got my gloves for $189. Um, one thing I also noticed with Reyes is that they've kind of, over the years, have gradually gone up in price as well. And maybe that's due to um, the shipping or the cost of materials. But I remember back in the day, you can actually get a pair of Reyes, I believe, for like $140, even $130. But now it's all the way up to $180, $190, even $200, depending on the color scheme. If you stick to the, the basic white, black, red, blue colors, those are obviously going to be the, the cheaper stock colors. Um, but the more custom stuff or the... Uh, the more fancier looking ones like gold, silver might be higher in price as well as the size makes a difference too. So if you get a higher ounce glove, they have to use more material, which will make the, the cost of the glove go higher. So depending on where you get it from, whether you know it's uh, through Clutterist directly, Amazon, eBay, uh, wherever you may buy it, price-wise, I've been seeing a range anywhere from $170 to $200, depending again on what kind you get and where you get it from. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys leave your comments down below in the comments box. I'll put all the details on where you can get these gloves down in the description box and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.